I don't know if Kamala knows what she's up to, uh, but the reality here is when you look at things like uh, what Representative Cory Bush is saying, what the squad is saying, what so many of these other people are saying who are accusing Israel of committing a genocide, it, it is the height of hypocrisy because they're apologists and supporters of these Islamist Hamas terrorists who are calling for a genocide, the extermination of all Jews, not just in Israel but around the world, and we're seeing this being carried out by these violent mobs and threats and other things that are happening against Jewish people literally uh, around the world. And the worst part is they're doing this under the guise of, well, we care about innocent people and we don't want people to get hurt, when in fact um, they are, in, in essence, supporting and apologizing for the barbaric actions of Hamas against innocent women, children, and civilians. I called it creating the monster, like they're Dr. Frankenstein, and now the monster in their progressive wing is turning against them. And, but they're trying to pretend like they're, oh, this is kind of a shocking development. It's not a shocking development. No. This has always been there, but it's also deeply anti-American, is it not? It, it, it is, and it, it is against the very foundational principles and values of who we are uh, as a country. Uh, these Democrats, they have called people like me an Islamophobe for many years just for speaking the truth about radical Islam, about the threat that this Islamism poses to the freedom and peace and security of the American people and people around the world. Well, do you uh, believe, as do some of these Republicans in the Senate, that we should be bringing in more Afghan refugees? We brought in, what, 80,000, 90,000? We didn't vet any of them. I'm sure some of them are great people and helped us in, in Afghanistan. But do we, do we have 80,000 interpreters and, or drivers? I mean, I don't there, think there, so. There are, there are many, unquestionably. Yeah. But just like we're so concerned about Biden's open borders and the fact that we've got millions of people coming in who are not vetted in any way, shape, or form, who have not been checked. But they and don't share we our values, to Nigel well, Farage's point as to right. what you're seeing in England. Right. This, is a, this is, they say, oh, you can't call it a class of, clash of civilizations. Why not? Mm. It is a clash of civilization. No women's rights, no belief in plural, pluralism, uh, uh, you know, the dignity of the individual, free expression. None of that. No. That's not on the table. No. And, and that, that is the hypocrisy of seeing these, you know, the LGBTQIA activists out there holding and waving the trans flag combined with the okay, Palestinian flags. Like they don't, that's a new level they don't of know and understand what this Islamist ideology is, this radical Islam ideology where they actually want to kill people. They want to kill those people. But specifically. Tulsi, they have to tie Ukraine to Israel because they know Ukraine won't stand on its no, own, it's the, that, the, that funding. And, and again, they're, they're trying to cheat the American people through their representatives by saying, OK, you support and you want to stand with Israel. Well, guess what? We're going to sneak in all of this other money that we're going to take out of your pocket and your bank account to go and support something that increasingly Americans are understanding. Well, it's not, it's, it's not this working. proxy war against Russia is pushing us closer to nuclear war, and it's not in our best national security interest to do that.